Hello guys, welcome to Passiveven. In this video, I am going to review Formcan. Formcan is a tool that will help you to build and manage your online forms for your business without any coding. You can do everything just by drag and drop. And see, they are saying that Formcan lets you quickly build dynamic web forms, safely collect user data, and connect your forms with thousands of other applications. Now, if you want to see the lifetime deal pricing of this form can they are offering up to license tier 2 and license tier 1 pricing is only 49 usd and in this tier you will get access of 1000 email invitation per month now what this email invitation will do you can invite your users to submit some information on your form by using this feature and if you get the license tier 1 then monthly you can invite up to 1000 um, email and here you will get 100 GB storage, unlimited forms, unlimited submission, and unlimited team members. But if you need more email invitation and more storage, then you have to upgrade to license tier 2, which is 99 USD. But you can get at least 10% discount on this pricing, guys. Just go to the description of this video and get the 10% discount on Formcan lifetime deal. Now, without further doing, let's go to the dashboard of Formcan and let's explore how things work there and how it can be helpful for us. And see, this deal has been launched on AppSumo maybe four to five hours ago as of now i'm recording this video and within this time it has gotten one review let me check the review guys see this person has bought 13 deals from AppSumo, and he's saying that awesome product a wonderful edition and he's giving her five star review so i think the tool is good now let's go to the dashboard guys see this is the dashboard of form can and it's very minimal dashboard here you can also have dark mode if you want see here is the dark mode it looks really really great but let me here open the light mode and here there have systems so you can also sync it with your system lighting section that means if your system is on dark mode then everything will be dark mode and if your system is on light mode then everything will be light mode these are the things guys but our main thing is here in the dashboard see in the dashboard here you will see all your forms that you have been created and see i have created here two form previously also they have a lot of form template if you go to this form template and here is the magic key see they have my favorite option most popular application forms appointment forms assessment form banking form booking form cancellation form checklist form claim form then complaint form a lot of categories are available here and these are the types and also they have industry specific form see if i click here industry see there have agriculture banking business business order form charity form then customer service form education form employee event food business then general health or medical hospitality form so a lot of type of form there are available let's say i'll select here education and see these are the forms that are based on education industry and see they have music school registration form generic scholarship application form boot camp registration form book club membership form then alumni membership form template a lot of template are available if i here select most popular then you will see more template here see lots of lots of templates here are available guys so these are the things i hope you get idea and from here i will explore only one template you can also create your template or you can also create your form from a sketch just go to this my form and then here click on this plus icon but for this video i'm not going to create any form from a scratch i will use one template from here and from here let's say i will select this education and from here let's say music school registration form this one i will um, select but you can also see the preview from here see just click here preview template and then it will redirect you to the preview section see here is the preview here at the preview you can see this preview from here and if you like it then you can use this template otherwise just go back click here on this template list then you will be redirected to your templates list again these are the things i hope you get idea but let's say i will use this one so i'll just click here use this template and then let's see where it will go see this is the form guys now there have a lot of functionality here guys see there have some field date first name last name birthday instrument then additional 
uh, comment let's say you want to edit these things just click here on this icon and then see here is the uh, level you can change the level let's say date with month let me with month see here is the date with month and here you will see the preview also see here is the preview i hope you get idea guys and then here you can also select a placeholder let's say the place holder will be uh, submit the date here so the place holder will be like that and then here help text let's say the help text will be um, here you have to submit your date let's say this is the help text and see it will shown like that i hope you get idea guys after that they have initial value so you can also select a, a specific initial value if you want and in my case uh, let's say i will not um, use any initial value and then you can select it as record you can select it as read only form and hidden on form you can also select it and they have validation so you can select the minimum and maximum range of date that you will accept basically let's say from 10 to 20 october and error message will be date expired and then here you can select uh, let's say first name and here is the last name and then here let's say the error message will be sorry that means if anyone submit any date out of this range then this message will be shown to him so these are the things i hope you get idea and here is the preview in this way you have to edit these things and here you can select different type of text see short text long text number email url date time and date and time is available here so these are the things similarly you have to here edit every single field that you want see if i click on this field then these things will be changed and you will be able to see the preview you will be able to change everything basically from here these are the things now let's say you want to add more step here see there have date there have first name last name birthday in instrument there have additional comment now let's say mm, these fields are not enough for you you need to add more step now what to do in this case see there have the option let's say you want to add one multiple choice so just click here choice and then here see it will be added you can also drag and drop these things you can place it anywhere you want everything here is drag and droppable guys and then now if i click on this then here you will get access of this edit um, field and here level is let's say uh, maybe level one or not level one let's say questions here and help text will be let's say please answer carefully and then here uh, let's see it's a record and the choice is let's say just click here add choice let's say choice one and choice two let's say i will add another choice so this one will be choice three and then there you have to select the right answer so or the default answer basically and then you can also select here other choice none to all so if i select here none to all then this one is basically none to all that means if i select this none to all checklist that means if anyone select choice three it will be considered as none to all these are the things guys and here you can see the preview and in this way you can add here checklist you can add here drop down you can add here signature so let me add one signature here let's say i will add signature so i'll just click here signature and then see this is the signature and here you can select the label and then uh, here is the uh, preview basically people can upload their signature here these are the things and then there have file upload option if i click here then this file upload section will be added and here people can upload their file also and if you want to add any description just click here and then here add the description let's say i'll just copy and paste this text from here just for test purpose guys 
so see this is the text and see it will be shown like that these are the things guys after that there have let's say section you can create multiple section here see here is the section let's say i do not want to keep this uh, section what to do in this case you can delete any section from here just click on this cross icon and then it will be deleted so easily also they have more widget see they have embed option they have image slider they have a stripe payment videos and these are the things let's say i will add one video here just click here video and then go to the edit panel and then let's say the level will be watch the video and then here i have to give the address and address means i think the url of the video let me give here one video url let's say this is the url and then it will be added i hope here they are asking to give max width you can also select here max width but i'm not giving anything here so these are the things and then they have align option so you can align the text also from here see this watch this video text will be aligned uh, left um, center and right from here these are the things i hope you get idea guys and these are the whole widget that are available here i hope you get idea guys now it's not the end they have more feature see they are in the top section they have seating they have logics they have preview and design and publish option so if i go to the seating they have three type of seating uh, form settings form invitation and form notification so if i go to the form seating and from here see they have show reference code on last page enable save for later and then uh, collect ip address and browser um, user agent from submitter show edit submission on last page so you can do these things you can enable or disable these things then they have confirmation message and see you can um, give this type of confirmation message here you can edit these things you can add here image you can add here any type of text that means here you can do every type of formatting that you need and you can design your confirmation page from here also you can redirect the user to a specific url you have to just submit the url and then whenever the user will submit their form they will be automatically redirected to this url but let's say i am not giving here any url i will show my users this confirmation message and then they have loading message and then they have save later email message and then they have multi languages message and see there available show languages switcher on form so you can show the language switcher and then they have detect user language so it will automatically detect users language that's really amazing guys and then they have manage language option if i click here then see select a language so let's say i'll select this language this is my language bengali and then i'll just add the language and here you have to translate everything from here basically so these are the things i'm not translating now but in your case you have to translate everything and after translating if the user's language is this language which is bengali language in my case the text will be replaced on his language these are the things guys but i'm not doing these things right now but if you want you can do these things these are the things i hope you get idea about this multi languages feature and there have different types of variables see there have a lot of variable form name form id draft url data and then a lot of um, your variables are available here you can use these variables here see in the text you can use these variables also that's really amazing guys so these are the things i hope you get idea about this sitting option and then they have form invitation and form notification sitting also you can explore this settings if you want and then this logic is very important guys if i click here create logic for your form then see here you can create logic and the logic is like if let's say first name is answered or is not answered or is equal to is not equal to contains not contains start with not start with so you can select like these things let's say contains now what contains let's say in my case md and that means if first name contains md then what to do you have to select it also you can add more if here see here just click here on this plus icon and here you can select and or condition let's say i'll select here or condition 
and then the field let's say last name contains let's say molla and then what will happen let's say show now what to show let's say i want to show him instrument so these are the things in this way you can create here different types of logic these are the things guys you can duplicate the logic you can delete the logic you can disable it and you can also add here in a note if you want and then they have option to add new logic if you want you can add more logic here so these are the things i hope you get idea let's say i'll delete this logic here then it will be deleted just delete it then it will be deleted guys these are the things in this way you can also um, create here logic and this logic is very important in case of form creation guys these are the things and then they have preview and design so if i click here preview and design then you will be able to see the preview of this form that we have designed as of now see here this is the preview this is the preview guys i hope you get idea here one image is available date first name last name birthday instrument then additional comment questions then here is the signature then there have upload attachment option here is the text that we have added and here is the video these are the things guys i hope you get idea and then they have publish option now you have to publish it also you can add more page guys let's say on your form you want to uh, keep multiple page you can do these things by using this form can tool guys we have designed here only one page if i click here add page then they have see add a new page break a new page now let's say i will add a new page see here is the page and similarly you have to design this page right these are the things guys but let's say i do not want to keep this page here that's why i will go to this page basically from here these are the things and let's say i want to delete this page so i can delete it just click here delete the page and these are the things guys and then now i will publish it and it will be published and here it will give you the url see and this is the form url you can share it and then they have embed a script you can also embed this form on your website just by uploading this simple piece of code on the back end of your website these are the things i hope you get idea now i will copy this url and then i will open it in another incognito window let's say here i will open it let me open it guys and then see the form will look like that and then here people uh, can submit their information i hope you get idea guys about this form builder or about this form can now let's say i'll go to the home if i go to the home here i will be able to see all my forms and if you have any submission then here you will be able to see number of submission you have see on this form i have one submission right that's why i'm seeing here one submission but on the first one i have zero submission that's why i'm seeing here zero submission these are the things and then they have invitation if i go to this invitation section here you can basically add your contact see if i go to this contact section see i have added here two contact in your case you have to just click here add and then add their first name last name email and they have group you can create different group for different you know, subscriber and then you can add them in different group and i'm not adding any more uh, contact here i'll just cancel it also you can bulk upload see there have upload option you can just drag and drop your csv file here and then they will be added and then you can send invitation for your form submission basically these are the things and then they have submission if i go to the submission section guys here you will be able to see all your submissions see here is the code here is the name email address ip address and user agent everything you will be able to see that means the persons who will submit any of your form you will be able to see their information here and then they have display and search you can enable or disable these things let's say you do not want to see the ip address just disable it then you will not see the ip address anymore here these are the things and then they have data retention and here you can change these things basically so these are the things i hope you get idea and the next option is notification so if i go to this notification section here basically you will get notification whenever someone will submit any form these are the things 
now they have more feature guys see they have team member feature if i go to this team member feature here you can add your team member just invite your team member click here and then add their email here and then they will be added basically these are the things and then they have form default setting if i go to this form default seat see these are the settings that we have been explored previously you can uh, control these things basically from here they have notification setting see a different types of notification setting you can control all the things basically here and also they have invitation setting these are the things guys after that they have custom domain option if you want you can also add here your custom and to get this custom domain feature you have to upgrade to their paid plan or you have to get this lifetime deal from AppSumo basically these are the things i hope you get idea guys about this form can tool and the tool is really amazing i think guys building beautiful looking form is very easy by using this form can tool so if you think is you need one form builder for your business or for your personal growth then you can get this form can lifetime deal from AppSumo. i will give the link of form can lifetime deal in the description of this video with 10 percent discount just go to the description of this video and get the 10 percent discount on form can lifetime deal it's an affiliate link is if you use this link to purchase this amazing deal i'll get a small commission without costing you any additional costing so if you think guys this video is helpful for you then please consider using this link to purchase this amazing deal and the last thing is visit our website www.pacivan.com to get more tips and tricks about growing online business also join our vip lifetime deal discussion group through the description of this video and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel yet guys then please consider subscribing this channel thank you so much guys for watching this video